and a maze dwarf was just found dead. Lesson Woman. What a name. Whoa! Um... I guess that's a dead... Uh, okay. It's not dead, but it, it doesn't have any... It doesn't have any sprites, and now all of its sprites... I think this child's dead, chat. Uh, here come my Mark's dwarves. I'm gonna send them up here, a little closer. So that they can go assist this dwarf. They're all just shooting bolts at it. If I actually look at the bolts that are hitting it, uh, it, it, it is having trouble breathing. The the giant bird is. Uh, bolts are striking it pretty consistently. And continuing to fly at the wren. Although, fortunate, unfortunately, it's mostly just tearing the muscle and bruising it. But all of the dwarves together seem to be doing quite a good job. And this child is not dead somehow. Which is funny, because there's almost no sprite left. Uh, they're continuing to just bash the ever-living crap out of this um, creature, and it is bleeding, and hopefully will fall over and die pretty soon. We also have another agitated wren in, in a cage, and uh, this one is not dead just yet, but it's almost there. Come on, dwarves, we, we, we can do this. This shouldn't take you 50 years. I think I should make wooden shields. Now all of my dwarves are getting overexerted. Well, this is a bad sign. Let's actually see what the combat log looks like in real time. So they're fracturing the skull pretty consistently as well as like bruising the fat because they're all out of ammo, or at least the dwarves who are here are out of ammo. It'll die eventually. My dwarves might fall asleep first though. This one is just firing bolts, I think. Nope, you're just standing there. <laughs> well, at least they are hitting it really hard. Markstorff collapses with exhaustion. Well, they killed it, finally. Okay, so how many are left? Ah, agitated giant thrips. I guess it's time for us to just say to heck with it and lock the dwarves inside then and just memorialize everybody who isn't in inside just yet. Well, that's kind of sad. Oh my god, giant thrips. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... I don't, I don't think I've seen the new sprite for giant thrips just yet. Well, let's... <laughs> One dwarf immediately dies. One goes into the fire. Oh boy. Um, this is a, this is bad news. <laughs> this is this is this is this is not this is not good news. Um, hey dwarf, you you want to go inside? Well, I would recommend it if you can. Question is, is where currently are they? Okay, well a lot of them are just running inside, grabbing ammo, which is probably wise. Honestly, oh, there goes another one. Eh. Um, well, one of them's sitting back here and firing bolts like, you know, you're supposed to. The smart thing. And a cat runs by. Okay. This is fine. I'm going to go right here and make a pen pasture. And in this pen pasture spot, I'm going to put dog. Okay. As you can see, there are a bunch of dog. Dog are all going, that are all going there, are all also going to become war dog. Because we need some defense. That's the most important thing right now. So let's bring, not currently War Dog, but soon to be War Dog, to a location where War Dog can do useful thing. The dead bodies of the bugs are funny. Yeah, they get really small, don't they? It's like, oh no. Anyways. Oh, this one is seriously injured. All right. Well, here comes another one. And the dwarves are dueling with it. Well, at the very least, they're able to kill the giant thrips pretty quickly. Uh-oh. I think that was, what, not one but two dwarves? It's one of my Mark's dwarves and a stone carver. Well, that wasn't super wise, now was it? I'm also uh, going to run out of bolts pretty soon, I think. All right. Well, there goes another one. And here comes this child with no sprite left, which is very funny. Got 36 dwarves. It's another giant bird arrives. Comes inside, the dwarves immediately begin fighting with it, firing all of the bolts that they can, which are mostly made of bone and wood. Got a war dog that is fighting with the creature. And if it falls it, or knocks somebody over, they do fall into the volcano. That's gonna be another one going down pretty quickly. Okay, let's see if we can get this shot potentially. I have dwarves loading cage traps though. So in that case, let's shut this door. Let's just make sure everybody's assigned. Get the cat back inside. And the door is shut. Okay. I can now remove the station. 
And uh, apparently there's some livestock outside. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, I just realized that this gate doesn't actually close the thing off all the way, which is kind of bad. And we are going to, you know, let those merchants leave now. Get ready to lock the doors again. They just let Snatchers walk on in. Let's just send the dwarves out. And just see if Diamond can now... Well, I also just really would like to try and get some of these dwarves buried. But more primarily, I would like to see... If I can actually get some of this stuff back inside. <laughs> when all the peasant was found dead. Let's try and get that back inside. Alright, well this one is tired and experiencing mortal fear right now. Let's see if I can tell my soldiers to go get it. So it's immediately bleeding because a bolt hits it, as well as a tear, which is tearing the skin and the spleen. The sword dwarf punches the agitated giant Ren in the second toe in the right foot, and it strikes at the war hammer that the at the sword dwarf, but it was blocked by his two shields. Sword dwarf then attacks the giant Ren, but they jump away. The sword dwarf then. Uh, misses the, the, the giant wren and is now dueling with the giant wren. Is also kind of hungry, by the way. Um, but we do, in fact, not have any other dwarves in the general vicinity that can come help, which is kind of weird. So instead, I'm just going to sit here and watch uh, this creature fly away in fear after getting whacked repeatedly with different shields. Um, it then comes back over, and I can see a, this dwarf, the pump operator, is climbing a tree, probably trying to get away from the creature. And um, let's see if I can just station my dwarves right here right now. Um, another dwarf was just found dead. Fortunately, they've been dead for a while. And um, they do actually have some decent gear, so I need to be careful that my soldiers don't end up wearing it. And where are you guys right now? Uh, well, they are standing on the ground. They are overexerted. And um, a yak cow has been found dead. <laughs> well, that's good. I can take that stuff. Um, ooh, look at all of those bars. Lovely, lovely. Now let's see where the next giant creature is, an agitated giant wren, is uh, 89 layers above ground. Okay, well, how about how about you? Uh, you are up here. Let's send the soldiers up to here. Although I can't actually send them up to there, but I can send them to here uh, because there are these two right here that are pretty insistent on not moving, it seems. So I will send my soldiers right here um, while a dwarf is running over with a wheelbarrow and going, oh God, probably. Um, Oh god, that says that dwarf probably. Um, and then they just go here and stand here. Well, they don't seem super interested, so I will just tell them to kill them. And now that these two creatures are full aggro, we've got a dwarf climbing up the side, or trying to, and then running up the side and uh, chasing these birds away, kinda, while also continuing to duel as effectively as he can. Uh, he's now stunned and bleeding, and I'm going, where the hell are the rest of my dwarves? You're supposed to, you know, come over here. And help. I figured they were close by because, you know, there was one fighting. Uh, maybe it's because they're all fighting with different ones. <laughs> where, Where is this fight happening? Well, no, not close by, apparently. Well, this dwarf's going to have a hard time. They're injured and overexerted and dueling around. Just going to tell them to get over here. Well, a lot. Oh, I see. A bunch of them are unconscious because they're still. They're all fighting with this bird, which isn't dead yet. <laughs> so, because they're trying to fight with it, um, and they're all overexerted and falling asleep, um, unfortunately, this is really bad for their long term ability to be able to kill thing because they're just sitting there overexerted. So, the reason only one showed up to go fight in the other location is because the rest of them are all just falling asleep exhausted. Meanwhile, these two dwarves are climbing a tree to fight with the thing. That's pretty epic. In fact, my dwarves are training climbing pretty effectively. Or trying to, anyway. This one probably is. There is literally no reason to do that. And they can train themselves by simply training. Same way dwarves always train. See? This is perfectly effective. That's if that's kind of funny. <laughs> Some dwarf here has managed to find themselves a steel cap. Curious to know as to where they got that, but... Are you not agitated? Yes, you are. I'm going to tell them to kill it. As we continue to fight back yet another giant bird. Nope, never really went up. Okay, well, let's send the squads back down to training. 
I think after uh, about 10 forts, you have a working uh, setup for archers. That's good. I can't say I've ever had working archers. I've had many, many, many sets of working Marks Dwarves, but archers? Quite literally none. 4, 8, 12, 16. I guess I'll put it this way. People always ask me to do challenge forts, or forts with fun themes, because they love watching it. And I'm doing one. And literally...